Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody it is Avid Expert and I've got another topic to discuss today so first off we have a PSX magazine and then I think in another upload I'm going to be showcasing some screenshots of actual in-game items that we're going to be getting that haven't been seen before so stay tuned for that but in this first video there's a lot to cover so I think I'll just make this into two separate videos as they are two completely separate topics anyway and they both will take a long time to discuss so anyway getting into to it we had a PSX magazine so that's the official PlayStation UK magazine they did a Resident Evil 7 excerpt and they had an interview with the developers with a Q&A and a bunch of other information which has shown a lot more elements than we have known before it's also confirmed a few things although I would actually like to say that a few things are in doubts and it does seem like a few contradictions are there and I'm not sure if this is intentional or not but I'll go into that as we go into the article itself now I'd like to say as well that the article itself has a lot of stuff we've already seen in it so I'll just be showcasing the stuff that is interesting in here because I've already read through it multiple times. So without any further delay let's get right into it. So basically the first part of the article is just a recollection of what we know already from the beginning hour and the lantern trailers. It gives us a little bit of a backstory on the characters and it also incorporates some other sources such as letting us know that Jack Baker's going to be kind of like the nemesis you're gonna have to keep killing him over and over again so it looks like Jack's going to be pursuing you over time in the game you're going to keep having to take him down and he'll keep coming back now in this article it describes different variations of the bakers and how the different bakers are going to basically have different styles of gameplay that you're going to have to work around when you're playing against them like I just said Jack's going to be very pursuit type like the nemesis and he's going to keep coming back over time and reviving and it seems that Marguerite's going to be more hide and seek sections where if you get caught you're gone I don't think there's going to be combat with Marguerite or I'm not sure if that's that's implied or we'll see what's going on when we get the full game with that anyway and it also mentions that Lucas will have something strange as well and I guess we saw that he has regeneration but maybe something else is at play so that when we come up against him you know we have different gameplay mechanics to work with so that we don't just like do the same thing we did with Jack it's not just a copy and paste of the same type of gameplay. The magazine also mentions that there will be classic monsters alongside the bakers but there's a few things about this so first off I'm sure everyone is thinking this confirmation that zombies are returning especially Especially with the CEDEC images that showed some. However, this could just be implying that BOWs are going to return in some form, or maybe the dogs that we have seen, and you know, something like that. And also to note, there is something in the QA I'll show later that is actually related to this. A lot of the article here is actually talking about the VR as well, and I'm just gonna ignore all of that because the VR experience is going to be absolutely amazing, but I don't think anybody needs to read about that. And if you do want to, I'll link the Reddit article in the description that contains all the scans to this so you can actually go and read them independently yourself. It also says that PlayStation VR is the only way to experience Resi 7 in VR through 2017. So I think this is possibly confirmation that we'll be getting Resident Evil on PlayStation, PC and Xbox all in virtual reality however the xbox and pc version are going to be possibly delayed for a year but that's really awesome anyway i'd love to have some kind of htc vibe compatibility or something with the game that's a far dream i believe but you know as a gamer one can dream so in the q a section where they got to talk to the developer mazaki they basically asked a few questions which a few of them were not you know the most interesting like what's the secret to good scares and stuff and were people too afraid that the game was going to be too horrific for the audience which I don't think is good questions to ask. However, they asked what's going to be the balance between combat and exploration and Mazaki answered, there is definitely more exploration than combat and I think it's a good balance with enough combat to be enjoyable but without taking over the game. Of course, the Bakers are not the only enemies around in the game. There are some other very Resident Evil-esque enemies for you to face as well, but I'm not saying any more. Now, guys, this is kind of confirming again, people are gonna be like zombies, zombies, BOWs and all that other stuff, but again I just want to say that Mazaki went on his Twitter and he said something that I loosely translated along the lines of don't expect classical zombies something about innovating or taking it from a fresh perspective and uh yeah that's that's kind of interesting anyway but yeah I'm not sure what this implication is exactly then to be honest and I'd be interested in knowing what you guys think about that but that's all I've got for today anyway I hope you have enjoyed the video as always and if you did enjoy the video please leave a like and a subscribe to join the avid army and also to support me and the community all together we also have a discord server which i'll link in the description that you can join at any time and welcome yourself there but for now i hope you're all having a beautiful day take care and peace